What's up, everybody? It's Brandon from Box Office Banner and Cult Flick Symposium, and I'm here to talk to you all about The Mother. No, not Mother from Darren Aronofsky with Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem from 2018, I believe. I may be off on that, somewhere in that vicinity. But a uh, lesser fucked up one, a newer one featuring J-Lo. Yeah, Fly Girl J-Lo. I haven't heard of her since then. No, I'm just playing. Obviously, she's Jenny from the block. We love her. She kind of fell out of the scene, but now she's coming back home with that rock hard bod. Damn, is she about to have that acting resurgence? I know she's been in roles and shit, but maybe she's about to just blow up. Is she the new Liam Neeson for the female action genre fans? I don't know. I can't picture it. Seems kind of crazy. Anyways, if you enjoy this video, though, make sure like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that good shit. I got to start saying that more. Apparently, it helps. Uh, really, just thank you for tuning in either way. Comments are the main thing. Love talking to you guys. Love meeting new friends. I used to think that shit was, like, weird and cringy, but a lot of my best friends these days are actually over the internet. Wild. Anyways, let's talk about it. The Mother. Got to tell you, The Mother, fucking movie. <laughs> Did not have me too hyped. Honestly, I just came off that Fast and the Furious over-the-top action movie binge where I just was doing a movie day in and day out. And, you know, I took like a little two-day hiatus not too long from, you know, doing reviews and shit for you all and myself. I enjoy doing this too. Yes, I admit it. To the point where I was like, you know what, I need to do something new. And the two movies that I was staring at that I'm not really all that excited for is the white men can't jump remake you know kind of interesting because i'm from louisville jack harlow's from louisville but still don't have too high hopes for it especially being a fan of the original this one looked a little more cringy a little too new age maybe i'm just getting too old for my own good and then there was the mother and the mother like a, action movies don't really do it for me my action movie preferences lie in the wake of you know 80s 90s fame we're talking van damme we're talking sylvester stallone we're talking schwarzenegger and yes we're even talking steven seagal new age action movies don't really do it for me fast and the furious what i just got done talking about actually is some of you know the better ones that i enjoy and they're still not that good technically are they they're cheesy you know fun this seemed like pretty straightforward it features j-lo as the i don't know how i feel about that as the main heroine but I got to tell you guys, although not great, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I got to be honest, because in the opening of this movie, I was not having it at all. Like, I just, I could not take this movie seriously. I don't know if it was the, like, I hate to do that going in, you know, to a movie, but sometimes it's so just like stuck on your brain, like an itch that you can't shake it. I was trying so hard not to be that way, but I think it might have had something to do with how I felt in the beginning, but it just... I, maybe it was the preconceived notion. I just could not get into this movie because of the believability and how hard I feel like it was trying. It just felt very off to me. Like, I immediately was just like, yep, don't buy J-Lo. Don't buy J-Lo. And you know what? As the movie went on, it wasn't as over the top with her character as I thought it was going to be, so it made it a little better. I mean, it wasn't completely not over the top. It was somewhere in between, which is good. You know, that's kind of like a sweet spot. Or maybe it wasn't that over top to me because, I again, I just watched the Fast and the Furious movies. But in the beginning, I was like, okay, they're going to try to make her, again, the female Liam Neeson, and I'm just not going to buy it. And I was so strong on that belief, I think it ruined the beginning of the movie for me. I wonder if it'd be a little bit better on a rewatch. But either way, it still wasn't that good to me because I thought there was some immediate stupid character decisions. There was a lot of conveniences, just not even just the opening scene, but you know, as it rolled on, I still felt that way. But again, as it rolled on, I do think it loosened up a bit. And even though the story and everything in it is cliche as it gets, which makes it not stand out among the other action movies that they keep pumping out that I don't enjoy that much, it still was somehow, you know, while not different enough, it w had its own little flavor to it. And I enjoyed the pacing. I did enjoy that about this movie a lot because in the beginning, like, I was kind of like, no, 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 you know, just kind of going through the motions, although not terrible. I was like, you know, it's not 
horrible, but still not that good. It's average. And then it kind of joined us together with the character from the beginning. I don't want to go too much into the, who that is. I guess it doesn't matter. What's his name? Amari Hardwick. He's in the beginning of the movie, and him and J-Lo become, you know, good friends due to their pact that they make at the beginning of the movie involving J-Lo's kid. And, you know, he holds up his end of the bargain. I don't think these are too big of spoilers. And, of course, shit goes awry. That's why we have the movie we have. J-Lo has to come back and take care of her kid, even though Hardwick did his fucking best, man. That better be his fucking name. I better not be fucking this up. I do that every <laughs> review, don't I, guys? Uh, and when they get together, it's not like, oh, my God, unbelievable chemistry, but they're likable enough characters. There's nothing special here, but they're not as cringe as I thought they were going to be in this movie. So I got to give them props there. Maybe expectations helped in this regard. And then as it goes on, and, you know, of course... It becomes more mother-daughter generated. I did like the relationship and the chemistry between J-Lo and the girl that plays her daughter. I thought it played out pretty nicely. The action in general, yeah, that's, again, it's cliche. They kind of teeter. I don't know what this movie's rated. At times, it felt like a little, not brutal, brutal, but just enough to where I'm like, that's kind of toe in the PG-13 line. And then other times, it felt very PG-13. So in a weird way, I thought that made it feel off balance. It's like pick a side type of thing. But overall, did not hurt the movie either. There is some things, especially more in like the beginning to the middle of the movie, that again weren't like completely over the top, but were over the top-ish to the point where I think if the movie wasn't taking itself so damn serious, it would have really benefited by having those moments in a less serious movie, you know, more self-aware, can reflect and be like, okay, this is kind of dumb anyways. It's J-Lo in an action movie. We're making her a badass. Maybe it would have been better that way. Because <laughs> while the scenes when certain things happen, I'll just word it that way. I don't want to give anything away. Again, don't be looking for anything crazy. I just talked about Fast and the Furious. There's nothing like that. But there's elements where it's like, okay, if you really think about that, though, that's kind of goofy. But if they would have played into that and not been serious and maybe even dialed it up a little bit to have fun because this was never going to win an, an Oscar or be like action movie of the year, it maybe would have been a little more effective on that front. But as I said, once we get past that and we roll on with the daughter character and J-Lo just there to just be there for a kid. There's something about these roles, isn't there, people? I don't know what it is, but it's very effective when done right, like you like to watch the parent parental figure take over for the kid especially if you know they gave them up and they're just here now and they're ready to either make amends or they're ready to show that they can be that person and they will protect them at all costs that type of movie there's a reason why it keeps getting made there is some intrigue there if it's done well was it done well here not particularly to be overly memorable but also not nearly as bad that's what I harp on the most as what I thought it was going to be. It was fine. This movie, I think, overall is passable. The villains, there's nothing special there. I mean, they're not overly corny, but they're really forgettable. So know what you're getting there. But it's not terrible, which is a win for me because I did not see that coming. I thought this movie was going to be complete trash. Overall, in saying that, though, can I give it a good score? Shit, man, I'm juggling with this. This is like fresh off watching it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can give it a good score. I'm going to play it safe on this one because I think I might be a victim of my expectations were so fucking low that I thought it was a little better than what it was. But I know for a fact it's not nearly as bad as what I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to settle somewhere in the middle. I'm going to give this a 5.8 out of 10. I'm going to tell you to, you know, do whatever the fuck you want to do because you're your own person. But if you're here, maybe you'd like a recommendation. If you're having a rainy day and you know these type of action movies or cliches don't wane on you too damn much like they do a lot of people, you might be surprised with this little, you know, J-Lo not just looking at the booty, which we were. Come on now. I'm not womanizing here. Even if you're a woman, you got to be like, damn, respect, right? <laughs> you might be surprised overall is action movie but if somebody that's not a big fan of new age action movies that often it didn't really do it but at the same time 
again. Not nearly as horrible as I thought. So check it out. This sounds like it's up your alley. Not going to be nearly as bad as I think that you think it's going to be. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm on a fucking island. Maybe everybody else thought it was like, J-Lo's got a new action movie out. Boom, there. Have you seen enough? I've seen this girl whoop ass. And I have not had enough. I need more of this J-Lo. So know who you are. But also, if you want a little surprise, maybe, 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 maybe. Either way, 5.8 out of 10 to me. Love you guys. Hope you enjoy it. It's not garbage. That's something. That is something. More reviews coming at you guys soon. Love y'all.